Hi guys, EVP Man again with TabletsForMe.com and what I'm going to show you now are some shortcuts uh, or gestures that you can use when navigating around your Galaxy Gear. So what I'd like to do now is show you some of the gestures. Um, some of them are obvious but some of them are tricky and, and difficult to find. So the first thing I'm going to do is turn on the phone and um, a couple things. If you want to go to the right, obviously you swipe to the right. If you want to go to the left, you swipe to the left. Uh, but here's some other commands that you could use if, let's say, for example, I go into a, an application and I, or settings, for example, and I go one step in. If I'd like to go back, you swipe from the top down, and that will take you one step back. Swipe from the top, and it'll take you one step back. If I want to go home, all I do is I press my home button, and it will take me to the beginning. If I want to be able to view the camera, and I'm on my home page, all I do is I swipe down, and the camera will turn on. Oops, sorry. Press something else. I'll do it again. Swipe down. You'll see the camera will turn on. If I want to get out of the camera, I can either swipe down or I can press my home button for that. Now, one of the things that was really frustrating for me is I couldn't find how do I see my battery level. And even though there are settings on the screen that allow you to set the battery level, I just couldn't figure it out. Tap two times the screen and you're going to get your battery level. And you're also going to be able to adjust your uh, volume as well as your screen brightness. Again, two fingers, tap twice, and you'll be able to see that. Now, another trick is let's say you know how in Android you have the ability to switch between applications and see applications that was previously launched. Well, all you do is you press and hold your fingers on the screen, and what you'll see is the applications that were there uh, that were launched. This is like the, the multitasking feature. You have the ability at any point to tap on that specific application, and then it's going to take you exactly there. Right? I can go swipe back to go back. I can press and hold, and I'm going to see, again, those applications that I was just previously in. Now, there's another feature, and, uh, and it's very uh, familiar to all of us on, on Android, and that's when you're looking at contacts where you can make a phone call or you can do a text message. Let me get into the contacts. Do that off screen really quick. Now, one of the things that you'll be able to do, I'm just covering this up so that my phone numbers aren't coming up. Uh, if you were to swipe to the right or to the left, notice how it changes colors. Um, if you were to swipe this way, you're going to get a text. Uh, you're going to be able to do a text message. If you were to swipe the other way, you would get a phone call. Uh, you would call that individual. So my phone is right now being called, so I'm going to get out of that. So once again, you have several gestures that you can use. Swipe from top to bottom to go back, unless you're on the home page, because you'll go back to the camera setting. Left to right to navigate. Double tap to bring up your menu for your actually your battery settings or your battery level and your settings for volume and brightness. Uh, press and hold to bring up all the apps, the multitasking view, so you can switch between apps or uh, or just exit out of some of them that may be uh, pending in memory. And then remember, uh, when you're in your contact screen, you can always swipe left and right, and you can either get your message or you're going to be able to initiate a phone call. Hope you, uh, these tips helped, and if you have any comments or questions, leave them on the YouTube channel, and also don't forget to subscribe.